Ryan Lochte is one of the biggest names in U.S. swimming. An 11-time Olympic medalist this year, he's going for his fourth Olympic Games in Rio. Lochte, who moved to Charlotte, North Carolina two years ago to train with a new coach, says he is ready for Rio. The excitement level is still there. Uh, I mean, it's the Olympics. You're going to the Olympics to represent your country. That's pretty amazing. That itself is just excitement right there. Um, but, <clears throat> you know, as me personally, I treat every swim meet, every Olympics the exact same ever since I was eight years old. Just a little kid getting on those blocks and just having fun, doing what I love to do. Also in Charlotte is gold medalist Tyler Clary. Clary moved here to the Carolinas to train at Max Swim, not just to build up speed in the pool, but also on the track. His other passion, auto racing. In fact, Clary says Rio may be his last Olympics, so he could focus on becoming a professional race car driver. When I'm in a car going fast or when, when I'm in a, in a race, swimming as hard as I can, I just, I go to a different place that, um, for lack of putting it a better way, stuff just makes sense. I mean, I understand how, how a car is feeling under me. I understand how, how the water is feeling around me while I'm moving through it. And I can't see myself doing anything other than what brings me those extreme moments of elation when you know I, I make something special happen while I'm in a moment like that. Another great Olympic story that everyone will be watching is reigning gymnastics Olympic all-around gold medalist Gabby Douglas. If she competes in Rio, she will be the first reigning all-around champion since 1980 to compete in back-to-back -back Olympic Games. It definitely, you know, pushes me to, um, pushes the best out of me. And when people, you know, come around and, very, and encourage me and lift me up, it's definitely so motivating.